Hello everyone, my name is JT Master from Naughty Senpai, bringing to you a, another unboxing video actually. It is like super, super late at night and I need to be kind of quiet because people are asleep. So I'm trying not to be too terribly loud. But uh, we got a package from uh, the Idea Factory International Store. Uh, which is located in California, I believe. And uh, what I got today was actually the Neptunia Rebirth, Neptunia Victory Rebirth 3 box set. And let me show you guys it so I can get it out of this damn package. I'm trying not to cut myself with this. <laughs> I'm sorry, microphone. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it right. There we are. Look at the gloriousness. Yes, all the Moe waifu goodness on here. <laughs> and uh, yes, this is the limited edition that they are now completely sold out of. You can't get this anymore except for uh, secondhand sellers on either Amazon or eBay. But uh, I was lucky enough to get this right before they sold out. There were only like a hundred something copies left when I placed my order, so yeah, I was real lucky with it. And of course, the very first thing that comes on the top. Will I ever use this? Possibly. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> not with family around. <laughs> And with here, we got the game itself, and I'm actually going to open that up for y'all. Too much plastic. Oh, there's so much plastic. I hate all the plastic. Of course, no booklet on the inside, but if camera can focus good enough on it. Focus camera. You're not focusing focus on me. Ah, oh well. It's nothing too special, it's just a little, uh, shows the logo with a pink background on there. That's the, of course, the Vita chip for the game. Oh, and of course, that is the reverse side for the, uh, the slipcover. It shows all the goddesses and then, of course, uh, shows Nepgear in the background. And then there's the, oh, the front cover, which is actually really cool looking, and the back cover. Yeah, let's see here. There's more to the set, I gotta dig down deeper. Okay, first I'm gonna show this. This right here, yeah, focus, is um, it's a paper craft figure that you can put together. So you got little pieces and all that that you put together, and they'll create a paper paper craft figure of uh, Purple Heart or Neptune, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I'll, I might actually put this together. I, I don't know. Usually I don't try to take a lot of the stuff out of the packaging. That's stuff like these. But I might actually try to uh, uh, put it together at some later point. But another part to this set right here is the art book that you actually get with this. And knowing Neptunia, I can probably tell what half of this is going to be. 
It's just Neptune right there. Plutia. Which actually, I've met the voice actress for Plutia. It's, uh, well, the English voice actress. It's uh, Cher Lee. And she's actually a very, very, very nice person. And uh, actually, on my old channel, I had a video where I had her use her Plutia voice um, in a video for as a joke to one of my friends. And uh, well, yeah, I had her say something that was a bit of a joke to one of my friends. And it, it was it was a great video. She had fun doing it, and I liked talking to her. And I had her autograph my uh, the P I had the PS3 copy of Victory, so I had her autograph that. Here we are. There's another one. I don't know why, but I actually like blonde the most out of the CPUs. I'm not sure why. And then here we got Vert, and just Green Heart. Then the sisters, Uni, Netgear, Rom, and Ram. The little cute small children of Kamba and Iffy. Pishi, which is Yellow Heart. How she turns into that, I, I, I don't get it. It's Neptunia. Nothing makes sense in Neptunia. Here we got Histor and Croar, which Croar is basically like the opposite of Histor. I think it's... I don't know if it's a boy. I think it's a boy. No? No, it's a girl. It says a girl on here, actually. I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be a boy or a girl. You know Japanese with their trap characters. And then there's Ray Wrights and R4. Warechu. Which um, in the other games is known as Pirachu. Bamo. And Regu. Bamo and Regu. <laughs> Those must be new characters to this because they weren't in the original. And then we got Mr. Bad. Copy pasta. No, sorry, copy paste. Blech, sorry. And then Anani Death. Abness. And then we just got a little different gallery pictures. And these are the, uh, these are the, uh, cutscene slides that you will see throughout the game. The little CG illustrations. Oh wow, that one with uh, Nipgear, Neptune, and just a little too much right there. Or just enough, however you want to think of it. <laughs> and of course, all the Neptune that you need right there, or Purple Heart. She's best in their CPU form. And the best image for last. Oh. Yep. Definitely the best image for last. <laughs> Goodness gracious. What's this game rated again? Notice, this is a rated game and they're giving us images like that I think the original rating I think the PS3 version was rated T also but I don't think we got anything like that in the game but what's funny is that the first the original first game I believe was rated M but I don't think the original one had as bad of stuff in it as the later games did, but yet those got rated T. I don't understand it. But yeah, that is the 
Hyperdimension Neptunia. V Rebirth 3 V Generation. Such freaking long titles for all these things. And I'm actually gonna be real excited to play this one. I completely beat the victory game uh, quite a long time ago. Um, although I haven't 100% completed it just yet. And uh, I know this is, of course, supposed to be a remake for the Vita, and they're supposed to add some stuff to this game. So I'm actually going to be real excited to see what all that they added to it, and what's new in it. And that's about all I can say about it. And of course, we can show the giant mouse pad. This thing is freaking huge, actually. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let's see, like, hold on. We'll, we'll do a comparison. Let's see. This is this one. And here is the current one that I use for my mouse. See, it's not as big. Let's lay it over each other. Yeah. See, it's a lot bigger. But of course, I mean, I don't think I would ever be able to use this here at home. Not with people around. Maybe I'll use it in private. Just like with my uh, school days mouse pad that I have. My uh, <laughs> my Opi mouse pad. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm sorry I'm not as super energetic in this video as I could be. Because of course it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm having to be very quiet here. But I wanted to go ahead and get this unboxing video done because I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it in the morning. And I might have a couple of more unboxing videos to do later in the week. I've got a couple of different things ordered that uh, should be coming in. I think i got two packages coming in. But until then, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, like comment subscribe uh, give me any feedback that you would like uh, any videos that you would like to see in the future let me know about it and uh, I'll be sure to get out more unboxing videos to you guys as long as well as um, all the other let's play videos and whatnot that we do and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye